Hi Year 12, this is the solutions to the 2021 Maths Extension 2 HSC exam. In this first video, we're going to look at the multiple choice questions. Question 1. Four cubes are placed in a line as shown on the diagram. Which of the following vectors is equal to the vector AB plus the vector CQ? So if we translate the vector CQ to start at the end of the vector AB, it's going to reach up to here. And so the resulting vector, let's get a different colour, is going to be the vector from A all the way through to R. So we can at least wipe out D because that's negative AR. Let's have a look at these different options. AQ, so from A all the way to Q, no it's not that. From C to P, could well be. Yes, that's the answer. Can you see that's the same vector? So our answer here is B. Question 2. Which expression is equal to the integral of x to the power of 5 e to the 7x dx? Right, we're going to use integration by parts. I'm going to let u equal x to the power of 5 and v dash equal e to the 7x. u dashed is equal to 5x to the power of 4 and v is equal to e to the 7x divided by 7. So our integral is going to be equal to u times v. Take away the integral of u dashed times v. I'll just tidy that up. And we can see, I lost the dx there that the answer is going to be A. Question 3, which of the following is a vector equation of the line joining the points A and B? So we need a direction vector. We'll do AB, so that is negative 2 take 4, 2 take 2, 1 take 5, is equal to negative 6, 0, negative 4. And R is going to be equal to either one of these points, doesn't really matter, 4, 2, 5, plus some multiple of this direction vector. Right, let's see if we can rule this out. That is not a multiple of that direction vector. This is, that isn't, and this isn't. So our answer is B. Question four, consider the statement, for all integers n, if n is a multiple of six, then n is a multiple of two. What is the contrapositive of the statement? Now, this is a little confusing, this question, because it seems like it's got three parts. For all integers n, if this, then that, but it's actually only got two. This here is the premise, and this is the consequence. So remember, with the contrapositive, we want to negate the consequence, and then it will imply the negation of the premise. So what we want is this. If n is not a multiple of 2, then n is not a multiple of 6. And then this part here will be in there somewhere. So it's not a, it's not b. For all integers n, if n is not a multiple of 2, then n is not a multiple of 6, it is c. Question 5. Which of the following statements is false? Now, I don't like these sorts of questions because you've got to go through every single option and I find them tedious. But A is obviously true, so we can wipe it out. It says A and B are real numbers. A is less than B implies A cubed is less than B cubed, and that's true. And one of the reasons we know this is from the curve Y equals X cubed. It's an increasing curve. It's always increasing. As X increases, Y increases. So A is true. B. A and B again are real numbers. A is less than B implies e to the negative A is greater than e to the negative B. What does the curve look like? e to the negative x looks like this. It is a decreasing curve. It's always decreasing. So as x increases, y decreases, B is true. C. A and B are positive real numbers. A is less than B implies ln A is less than ln B. What does the curve look like? y equals ln x is an increasing curve. It's always increasing, so c is also true. 
So the answer must be D, but let's have a look at why that is. A and B are real numbers, they're not equal to zero. If A is less than B, then one on A is greater than one on B. Now, in this case, we have a hyperbola. Here's the thing, they're both decreasing, both of these bits. And if we only had the negative numbers or only the positive numbers, then it would be a true statement. But from this point here to this point here, it is increasing. So if I chose, say, A is equal to negative two and B is equal to three, this wouldn't be true. So that's why the answer is D. Question six. Which polynomial could have two plus i as a zero given that k is a real number? So we know that these are all real polynomials. And that means that if two plus i is a zero, then the conjugate two minus i must also be a zero. So let's work out what the factor is going to be. So I'll just do x take away two plus i in brackets. And then I'm going to multiply it by x take away the conjugate. I'm going to do something sneaky here just to make it a little easier. x minus 2 minus i, x minus 2 plus i. And I'm going to bracket these together. This is a really good technique because now we've got difference of two squares. So x minus 2 all squared take away i squared is x squared take 4x plus 4 plus 1, which is x squared plus not minus, minus 4x plus 5. Now we could do a whole lot of long division, but that would be annoying, wouldn't it? We know that it's going to look like this. And then some other factor. Now, if you have a look here at these last terms, this is plus 0, plus 5, plus 0, plus 5. Either a is equal to 0 or a is equal to 1. Do you see that? 5 times negative a. Well, actually, it will be equal to negative 1. Yep. Uh, let's just test those out. Let's try with the 0 first of all. So x squared take 4x plus 5 multiplied by x gives us x cubed take 4x squared plus 5x. Does that match anything? Actually, that matches a, doesn't it? So we don't need to go any further. The answer is a. Question seven, which diagram best shows the curve described by the position vector r of t is equal to negative 5 cos t i plus 5 sine t j plus t k? All right, it looks quite horrendous, doesn't it? It's actually not too bad. The first thing we notice is this, t next to the vector k. k, of course, is one of the base unit vectors, and it's the one that goes in the direction of the z-axis. So we can see that this thing, this curve, is ascending as t goes from 0 to 4 pi. So it's either going to be c or d. Can't be this one or this one. Now we need to distinguish between these two. Now they both start at the same point, so that's no good. But one thing I do notice is this goes from 0 to 4 pi, and this is cos and sine, which have a period of 2 pi. So it's doing a double loop. So if we substitute in, say, pi on 2, we'll be able to figure out whether it's negative here or positive here. So let's do that. So I'll just grab my pen. We're going to substitute in t is equal to pi on 2. So r of pi on 2 is equal to negative 5 cos pi on 2 i plus 5 sine pi on 2 j plus pi on 2 k. Now, of course, cos pi on 2 is 0, so we've got 0 i, and sine pi on 2 is 1, so that's 5 j and then plus pi on 2 k. So we can tell from that, it's actually going to be this one. Over here, it's in the positive y direction. This one here is in the negative y direction. So our answer is D. Question eight, a particle is traveling from A on the curve joining A to B. At a particular time, the particle is at point P and has velocity V as shown in the diagram. The speed of the particle is increasing. Which of the following diagram shows an acceleration A, which would allow the particle to follow the curve to B? 
Again, not a particularly difficult question, but if you don't have a physics background, it might be a bit tricky for you. One thing we do know is that we need the acceleration to point in for this particle to stay on the curve. So in neither of these cases, A or B, is that going to happen? It's going to pull it off the curve. So it's not A or B. In this case here, well, we know that the speed of the particle is increasing is the other bit of information. Here, this is dragging against the velocity vector. So that one's going to be slowing down. This one is moving sort of in the same direction or has some commonality in the direction of V. So this one would be speeding up. So our answer is D. Question nine, four cards have either red or black on one side and either win or try again on the other side. Sam places the four cards on the table as shown below. Win, black, try again, red. A statement is made. If a card is red, then it has win written on the other side. Sam wants to check if the statement is true by turning over the minimum number of cards. Which cards should Sam turn over? Well, obviously we want to turn over card four because we need to check that this one has got win on the back, but that doesn't eliminate anything. So that's a bit sad, isn't it? We also want to turn over card three because if this one's got red on the back, then our statement would be false. Now, is that sufficient? So turning over four and three. So it could be B or D. Do we also need to turn over card one? If we turn this over and it has red on the back, great. But if it turns it, we turn it over and has black on the back, that's also all right because it doesn't say that a card that has black on the front can't have win written on the back as well. So our answer here is B. Question 10. Consider the two non-zero complex numbers Z and W as vectors. Which of the following expressions is the projection of Z onto W? Quite a good question, this. I like it a lot. Uh, this is vector W and this is the vector Z. Now remember, without having to remember any fancy formulas, if we call this angle theta, the projection of Z onto W is going to be cos theta times by W. Now let's let Z equal e to the i alpha and W equal e to the i beta. And that makes this angle in here alpha take away beta. So our projection is going to become cos of alpha minus beta times W. Now if we have a look through all of these, we've got an awful lot that say have this real part of some vector. So let's work out, let's just work through these. Let's work out the real part of ZW. Let's see whether it could be that one. It's the real part of E to the I alpha times E to the I beta is equal to the real part of E to the I alpha plus beta. And that's going to be cos alpha plus beta. So it's not that one. And in fact, I know which one it's going to be. It's going to be this one, isn't it? Let's just check that out. The real part of Z over W would be E to the I alpha minus beta, which is cos alpha minus beta. And then we would multiply that by the vector W. So our answer is C.